Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio. This is Gina. I've got a design team project to share with you guys today. This is a collaboration between Tracy Fox, who has loved junk, junk journals, and Artie Mays on Etsy. Um, they've recently done a collaboration, on, and the kit is called Nature's Remedies. Love this kit. Um, I've recently done uh, a journal using this, and it is just totally me. I love the colors. They're really soft and muted. Uh, just stunning. So again, I wanted to play around with this, and today I've created a journal card to share with you guys. Um, so let's just jump in and you can see how easy and quick this is to create. So the first thing I did, one of the background pages I printed out here just because I wanted some, you know, pattern going on in the background. And then I just cut this down to three and a half by four five and a half to create the size of a uh, journal card to go in the in our junk journals. And then you also get these tabs, so I've got that. Um, and then the other, other elements come within the kit as well. I always try to just use um, things that are from the kit when, you know, <laughs> if you've been watching me for a while, you know, I try not to mix them up too much. So let's just get started. I went ahead, just for time purposes, I went ahead and cut everything in advance, and then I thought we'd just put it together here online. I hope I've got everything. <laughs> you know, best of intentions. I start out with these things, and then I realize, oh, actually, I didn't do that. <laughs> so the first thing was the um, I inked it with the vintage photo around the edges. I hope everybody is doing well and staying healthy. It's um, If you're like me, every time you start to get a little sniffle, you think, oh no, is it the corona? <laughs> the corona crap is what I call it. <laughs> oh, I'll be so glad when this is over, but I know everybody will. It's It's been challenging. Okay. So I've got that inked. Um, the other thing I did is I've got this thin cardstock and I've run it through my embossing folder because I, I just like the extra texture. So what I did there, I just backed a bit of that so it's just peeking through. You can see. So I'm just going to come down and tear a little bit of that because most of it's going to be covered. I just I think it's really nice to have some things just kind of showing through. Now I'm just going to ink that. And you can see that really pulls the image out when you add the ink to it. So yes, I've been busy doing, um, working on some journals and journaling cards. I've got a couple of pocket and tag things I'm trying to get done. Busy, busy. Just trying to stay busy. I mean, there's always something to do, as we all know. There's, there's. Uh, my problem is there's not enough time in the day to do everything I want to do, but. Spending time in the garden, you know, a little bit in the morning and then in the evening. Um, so that's been enjoyable for me. Okay, now this is another image that you get from the kit. And I've just cut that out. And the next thing we're going to do is distress that a bit. I've got these little tools. Um, I think Tim Holtz used to sell. I don't know if he still does. He used to sell this. But you can, if you want to save yourself some money, some money, it's um, you can find these in the sewing section um, as well. I'm trying to think of what they're. Hmm. Uh, I don't recall what it's called. If you're looking for it in um, 
amongst the sewing things, but it's much cheaper, obviously. Anything that becomes a craft item seems to go up in price. I have learned that um, if you can shop around places, you know, the hardware stores and things, sometimes you can get items that um, will work without paying such ridiculous prices. <laughs> But you can see what that's doing. That's just ripping that edge. And then I'll come back over it with some ink. Just makes it little, look a little bit older. But it does create a mess. I will warn you ahead of time. It's going to make a mess. Okay, so what I decided on this one, I wanted this to stand out a little bit more um, against the paper. So I, I don't normally go to this to distress because it is so dark it's almost black um, but in this case I just think when I used the uh, vintage photo I, I didn't feel like it had um, brought it up enough but I start out with the vintage photo and do the corners because we're going to round a couple of them and then now I just very very lightly I put some of that espresso on there because you can see it almost becomes black <laughs> and as I said in a couple of videos ago it does seem like I'm going further and further towards the grunge and I don't know what's happening in this studio but and then I'm just going to roll those edges over a little bit. Now you can take a, um, a pokey tool and use that if you, if you want to. And you, you can also glue it down, but I'm not going to because I'm not that... You know, if you want it to stay like that, you can add a little bead of glue, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to have it just rolled over a little bit. Okay, so let's see, I've got that. Now the next thing is, for this, because I've got a little bit of yellow, <clears throat> I've got this kind of a straw colored Irish linen thread. Absolutely beautiful. It's a slightly different to my natural, so I've opted to use that. And I'm just going to double it up so that I've, I've got a nice little bow there. Don't want to get too much. I never know how much to cut, so I sometimes end up having to take a little bit off, but I never waste it. I always just save it and use it in my little buttons and things. So let's just tie a little bow. I do love this kit. It's um, There's a lot of elements in it because it's a collaboration between the two ladies. Um, so there's a lot of different things to work with. Um, they're both very generous with their kits. And I'm very, very lucky to be on, uh, on a part of their design team. Okay, now I'm just going to snip a little bit of that off. Okay, at this point I am just going to go ahead and glue that down. So I woke up this morning bright and early and um, I had a really good night's sleep last night and it's just amazing how much more energy I've got. I was, I was pretty hyped up and um, I had my cup of coffee, my first cup of coffee, and jumped into the kitchen and I've, I've made chicken salad for today because when the temperature 
starts warming up. It's really the only kind of thing I can stomach is salads. <clears throat> you know, of various types. I love, and, and in the U.S., if you're in the South, now you won't you won't relate to this if you're from outside the U.S. But if you're in the South, you know about chicken salad chicks. <laughs> I love that place. Oh my gosh! Every time I go home, um, I'm like chicken salad chicks. Here I come. So I, because it's not cheap. It's it's a pretty. I think it's a bit overpriced, but I, I'll pay it just to treat myself when I go home. But I, when I was living there, I was like, I'm going to have to f figure this recipe out. And, you know, like I say, ladies, I'm pretty proud of myself. I've got the chicken salad chicks heck, hack recipe. So I jumped in today and made that. So I've got that ready. And that'll, that'll be at least um, two days. Well, it'll be two you know, dinners for Paul and I, and then it'll probably be a little, a light lunch for him, um, because I'm doing the intermittent fasting, I don't tend to, uh, I try to only eat once a day, so I'm very, very excited about that recipe, I finally mastered it, and uh, I was wondering how many of you would be interested in me doing a video showing you how to make that because it is amazing for summer coming up. Um, so I'm just curious if you just leave in the comments below because it, I'd have to do it, you know, get my camera set up in the kitchen. Uh, okay, so I've got that inked up. I'm going to put some now some dimensional tape. And I mustn't forget, I want to put this tab on there. Let me get that over here. I'll forget it. You know my brain is just like, oh, out of sight, out of mind. Um, so if you're interested in that and learning that recipe and how to make it, let me know because um, I don't mind jumping on and doing a little, a little tutorial on my chicken salad chick hack. So that's what I've been, I started off with that today and then uh, moved on in here. Because I want to, I got, oh, I got so many journals I need to get done, guys. Ooh, it's just piling up. Alright, so I've just put that in there just because I thought it's all neutrals and I really like this image because it's got that, just that little bit of color to it. And then these little butterflies come with it, so... Again, I fussy cut that. You saw me doing that just then. That's going to go there, but first I'm going to go ahead and get our tab. I think I'm going to put this one on the top since I've got the butterfly. Oh, and I'll tell you something else I tried uh, the other day. I don't know how many of you are on keto. I'm dabbling with that as well. I won't say I'm like fully sticking with it because like today the chicken salad's got grapes in it. So that blows the keto. But um, I've just done a lemon cheesecake that's keto. Oh my goodness. I'm not kidding, guys. I, I'm... I'm pretty fussy about my food. I like good food. But no joking, you will not know that this is uh, not just a regular dessert. It is that good, honestly. I'm very, very impressed with that recipe. Um, I've tweaked it a little bit. I always tend to tweak recipes to my own taste. But, oh, man, that thing is amazing, guys. And I hate to say it. <laughs> The whole, it was an 8x8, eight eight, and Paul and I have wiped that out in three sittings. <laughs> so, uh, now you know why i got to be fasting all the time, because when I do eat, I always overdo it, always. But, um, yeah, that was an outstanding recipe. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Oh, the other thing is there's this little... Let's see what I did there. I'm sure I cut that out. Oh, doggone it. I had 
that little piece of paper, it must have fell or something. With the comet, you can see the little common wall. Oh well, I'll use this little, this comes with it as well, so I'll go ahead and use that. I'll just make a ink around that. So yeah, that's what I've been doing so far this morning, and uh, got a couple of videos I've got to complete, and like I said, a few, I just got, well, I've got more than a few journals to do, but oh, it's just little by little, little by little. So I'll just put that one there. Um, Oh, I love how these have come out. I've got four four more of these to do, um, which I'll do off camera, but uh, to add to my little stash of things ready because I've got some uh, nature journals coming up. But there you go, guys. You can see that. Um, and like I said, you get that little tiny label and then that one. And I just think that is just precious. So that was quick easy. Another little idea for you. And I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, very quickly, let me just share with you. Um, if you're not interested, you can tune out right away. But <clears throat> if you are interested, um, this is a little sneak peek of what I'm working on on Patreon. It's not finished, but that's just a little sneak peek of the kind of uh, projects that I'm going to be doing on Patreon. Um, if you're not familiar with Patreon, I've got a link in the description box below that will take you to that site and you can check it out. It's kind of like a paid subscription and within that I'm going to be doing giveaways. I've got a lot of projects, simple and complex projects planned. Um, so check it out guys. I hope you all stay safe and I will be back very soon with some more um, Create With Me. Have a great week guys. Bye.